Ah, Epic Games, the pinnacle of gaming, the successors of Fortnite, the bringers of life, and death? After captivating millions of children, <coughs> uh, adults around the globe with the highly popular Fortnite, everybody wondered what was next for this billion dollar company. A unique console called the Epic Box? The Epic S4? The Fortendo? Ugh. <sighs> No, that's right, the Epic Store, a marketplace where gamers can do everything and more than they already could on other platforms. Alright, so maybe they couldn't, but that's okay. I mean, really, no, that is totally okay. I'm sure they can come up with other ways to captivate gamers across the world without sacrificing the relationship they cherish the most. Oh dear. What about discounts on Epic titles? Or, or what about exclusive cosmetics for games when you purchase them from their store? Or what about adding features that made other platforms so great, like reviews and refunds and offline play? Or not using your money to bully your way to the top of the market? Good lord. Yep, I'm sure you all know what kind of video this is going to be, so if you're already down in the comments section typing up a three-page essay on why I should quit YouTube and go back to my day job at McDonald's, you can leave now because it's time for the 3968th video on why the Epic Store sucks. And also, if you couldn't already tell, I'm going to be revolving this video around the whole Borderlands 3 stuff, so, uh, sorry, World War Z. EXPLOSION! Remember what was so great about playing Borderlands on Steam? Earning achievements to show off to your friends, turning into the Angry Joe show for 10 minutes while she wrote your very in-depth review of the game to share with other players, being able to go onto the forums to find new people to play with, or even playing on a Linux for those who still use Linux. Well, say goodbye to it all because Epic Store has none of it. Literally none of it. I don't know what's a bigger fuck you to gamers than literally removing everything they enjoyed for no apparent reason. This is a multi-billion dollar company, folks. They can literally afford this stuff, yet they choose not to add it. And don't go giving me that roadmap shit in the comments because let me tell you, time is not in their favor right now. And yes, they are constantly adding new things every day to make the Epic Store a better place for PC players, but that's not the point here. You don't buy your way into a huge franchise like Borderlands with a featureless wasteland of what could have been a great store. Borderlands has always been on Steam and making the next and biggest installment in the series an Epic Store exclusive is a huge slap in the face to anyone who has ever sunk their time into a Borderlands game. And yes, it will be coming to Steam in April, but guess what 2K? Make it available on both stores from the get-go. Find that asshole and kill him because I disagree with his review score! Now, I can't fault Epic for everything they do, and before you grab your pitchforks, just hear me out. Epic just launched their first ever mega sale, giving gamers up to 75% discounts on various titles and $10 off any game over $15. And yes, that includes Borderlands 3. That is really cool and also cools down the heat they already had with people. But wait, it gets even better. For those of you who had already pre-ordered Borderlands 3 before the sale are going to be given a $10 refund to make things fair. Except, as always, there is a problem. It seems Epic did not notify any of the developers about this sale as many games were ripped from the store just hours after the sale went live. And yes, that includes Borderlands 3. It blows my mind that such a huge company can be so incredibly stupid. If you want to do something like this, by all means do it, but for the love of God, do not do it without permission. I resent you for disliking a game I spent money on. Time to die. Oh boy, oh boy, this is where it gets juicy. Epic's Terms of Service states that any content made by gamers on an Epic Store game can be taken and used by Epic in advertising. Even monetized advertising. And you want to know the best part? You can't do a damn thing about it. Your content, this video, can be used by Epic, and hell, I can't do anything about it because I'm showing gameplay of an Epic title. Now, the lines on this situation are very blurred, so this may change in future, and I'm sure there is a legal loophole if the game is on another platform, but the fact that this is even something in their terms and conditions is insane. That means people like Jolts Dude, Professor Broman, Killer6, Admiral Baru, Supmato, Haderhype, bunch of Borderlands YouTubers that you guys like can have their content stolen from them. 
In conclusion, I think many of you guys are just going to have to get used to the fact that Epic owns Borderlands 3 until it releases on Steam in April. Should you review bomb the games on Steam to prevent this? No. No you shouldn't. The decision to go with Epic was a decision made almost entirely by 2K and not by the hundreds of amazing talent who worked on Borderlands 3. So please, don't go sending death threats over Twitter or review bombing their games. They put their hearts and souls into making this game everything it could possibly be. And guess what guys? You're better than that. We are better than that. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I apologize for not uploading as my Wi-Fi went out, so I had to get it fixed. Also, if you're not already aware, I went on the Borderlands Show podcast recently, so if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, a like is greatly appreciated, and if you want to see more of my videos, click the cards on the right of the screen. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.